So this review is brought to you today by, once again, by Electric Hair, who have salons all over the country, a country which Stan and Ollie traveled over during this movie. But unlike Stan and Ollie, the venue I visited, the venue I toured to, they washed my hair, they cut it, they styled it, and you can also have this done at one of the electric hair salons in either like Liverpool or London or Brighton. So on that note, check out the electric hair website to see if there's a salon near you, and we'll leave the touring around the country to Stan and Ollie. Camera set. All right, back projection. Cue music. And action. Hollywood legends Mr. Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy arrived in Britain today as they embarked on a national tour. We're doing this while we're waiting for this new picture to come together. I'm going to make sure that this tour gets off on the right foot. There it is, the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> it's amazing that you two are still going strong, still using the same old material. There they are. Such a wonderful reception, isn't it, Ida? It's okay. <laughs> Two double acts for the price of one. <laughs> Without needing to give away too much more information here, Stan and Ollie starts in 1939, where they're at the peak of their career. Like you meet them when they're at this like film studio in Hollywood. It looks like a great studio. And then you fast forward 16 years later, when there's been a disruption in their relationship, and they're now touring smaller venues, much smaller venues in the UK, while trying to get their careers back on track again. Already, I will warn this film. It's not a comedy which is what you might expect from a story about a comedy duo. There was quite an older audience in the cinema when I went to see it. No one really laughed, mostly because it's, it's a BBC drama, not a comedy. Plus the humor in the film from like Stan and Ollie, that humor is now about 80 years old. This isn't to say it's a bad movie though. It's just that I feel younger audiences, they, they, like, they may struggle with this one. Even myself, I'm not like clued up about Lauren and Hardy. I remember seeing a cartoon about them when I was a kid. And to be honest, that's really all I know about them. So if you were born after the 80s, this film may not appeal to you. That said, it's a well-produced movie. The sets and the locations, they feel really, really authentic, as do the costumes. They performed convincing characteristics of the duo. And you can really see that the actors and the director really, really done their research about this. And the film just truly captured the relationship between the two of them and the prosthetics and the makeup they're just like they're so realistic and it just added to the believability of the characters too in this reality tv age it seems biographical films are a huge favorite with cinema goers at the moment there was the ever successful bohemian rhapsody a few months ago in that same month we had first man about neil armstrong later this year we have rocket man about elton john we're also living in an age where the majority of movies made are remakes or based on comics from decades ago so nostalgia seems to be a winning formula at the box office these days and this biography about stan and ollie certainly doesn't fail on the nostalgia front the show must go on. <laughs> when you watch our movies, it was just the two of us. All we had was each other. <laughs> she never regret Rianne. And you shouldn't regret Rianne either. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Stan Laurel and Mr. Oliver Hardy. I'll miss us when we're gone. So will you. 